Welcome to our video. Uh, this lesson we're going to be learning the verb uh, kiku. Kiku, which is an irregular verb. Okay, so you're going to have to work on the K column, né? to change it to masunai in tick form. And the meaning is to hear or uh, to listen. Okay, this is the number 29. Uh, so if you haven't seen the other verbs that we did already, please go uh, and check them out. Okay, um, I'm I'm doing like important verbs for you to to make sentences on your uh, daily life in Japan, so please check them out. Uh, but back to this one, then let's see. Uh, the kanji first is this one, uh, which is um, inside this this one. Uh, as you guys know, um, the kanji is all like you know you putting uh, small kanji together and making new ones. And this one here uh, inside, it's the ears. Okay, this means ear. Um, so and this is I think it's gate. So you know is like the gate where you can hear you know <laughs> your ears so it means to listen and to hear okay so it's good for you to learn it's not a very uh, hard one to to write uh to write it down and it's kiku okay so let's see uh, the four forms that we have so the first one is the dictionary form kiku for example ashi oto o kiku ashi oto o kiku uh, is to hear uh, ashioto. So ashi is feet or foot, and oto means a sound. So ashioto is when you hear people walking. Okay, so let's see you were at home at night and you hear like people walking. Okay, uh, that's you know squishy sound on the floor, uh, which by the way is pretty interesting if you guys go to Kyoto. Um, you will have some we have some temples there that um, the wood the way that they would make the wood on the floor is uh, in a way that if somebody uh, approaches uh, you will you would be able to hear the ashioto so that way you know like uh, when we had the, the samurais and all you know those like ninjas and um, people that would actually try to attack you at night you would protect yourself by being able to hear the the ashioto okay so um, Ashioto o kiku. Ne? So uh, we, we could also like uh, Ashioto Ashioto kiku? Ne? Kikoeru? Like you could say kikoeru, like can you hear? Can you hear something? Ne? Like the Ashioto. Which is uh, actually written on the next one, the Masuke. Uh, kikimasu. Okay, is there a Masuke? So it's uh, Nani mo kikimasen. Ne? Uh, I can't hear anything or listen. It's more like here. Now I can't hear anything. Then anymore anything. But uh, I think you guys would be uh, hearing more um, kikoemasen instead of kikimasen. Okay, nani mo kikoemasen. Uh, I can't hear anything. So let's say if somebody asks you, can you hear something? Like can you hear ashioto na ashioto kikoeru? And then. To answer that, you would say, um, mm, No, I can't hear anything. Um, kikimasen, guys, is, is very similar. I would say that the nuance, the difference is like, for example, kikimasen is like, you, you can't hear it, but you're not really, you know, trying hard to. Let's say you are talking on the phone and uh, the voice uh, on the other side is really low. So then you go, Sumimasen, nani mo kikimasen? No, I can't hear anything. Like, your voice is too low. That would that would be kikimasen. And kikoimasen is more like even if you pay attention, you know, when you're like mm, trying to hear it, uh, you can't really hear it. So it's very similar, um, but I don't know. I, I guess that, you know, tiny little nuance would be something like that. Okay, kikoimasen. So in this case, if you cannot hear the ashioto or a weird sound that somebody is, is, is telling you, you would say nani mo kikoimasen. Like even if you try to, you're not able to hear anything. Okay, the next one is our negative form, the naike. So we're going to change the k column so it becomes ki. Kanai, okay, guys, kikanai, um, kikanai as not to hear, na? and uh, for example, um, hen na oto kikanai. So 
again, this is like a way of us to ask a question, but we are asking in a negative way, like, can't you hear anything? Né? Uh, in this case, it's not any, anything, but like, hen na, né? Hen na oto. Hen it means strange, and oto, again, is sound. So, can't you hear any weird sound? Would be, right? Hen na oto, weird sound, I would say, instead of strange. Can't you hear any weird sound? Okay, and then you could say, nope, nani mo kikoimasen, <laughs> right? And the last one then is our uh, teke, which is also our imperative form. Okay, so we're gonna change the K column to E, okay? This is kind of hard, so it becomes kite. So in ki, we already have a E sound, so when you pronounce it, you kind of, you know, just extend the E sound, so kite, kite, ne? For example, hanashi o kite hoshii desu. Hanashi o kite hoshii desu, ne? Uh, hanashi is talk. Um, kite e listen, ne? And hoshi is I want. So I want you. We don't have the, the subject here, but it's you. So I want you to listen to my talk. Is the 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 direct translation which doesn't make sense but basically you're saying uh there's something i want to tell you there's something that i want you to to hear uh i need to tell you something okay this is what it means when you say hanashi o kite hoshin desu ne Chotto, uh, we also say a lot sodan sodan shitai desu ne i want to uh consult you in something which in english it kind of sounds a little bit um, you know, too much, but uh, it's the same thing. Like basically, I need to talk to you. Né? There's something I want you to 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 hear. Okay, hanashi o kite hoshin desu. Let me talk. I need to talk to you. Okay, guys. So this was the verb kiku. I hope you liked it, and I see you on the next one. We're gonna be learning the um, the verb. I think it's gonna be the to answer. Kotairu. Okay. Uh, remember that I'm like uploading the videos like one week as a verb. The other one is a mini lesson and then a verb again. So the next verb is gonna be in two weeks. Uh, but that way you guys kind of have, you know, like uh, something in between. So we are not doing the same thing over and over. And you can actually get to learn some conversation as well. Okay, guys, I hope you like it and see you then on uh, the next weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.